In today's world today, where things are changing quite rapidly, life is turning around quite fast all across the world. Coronavirus has come with so much that turn around the table, and uh, before we know it, life has changed. But rapidly changing world, learning to lead our organization and to read the turbulences that comes with it is quite key. This is the CEO bench. And of course, my guest on the CEO bench this week and this particular morning or afternoon or night, depending on which part of the world you are in, needs no introduction. From the secret places of Orient in the West Nile Bank of Uganda to the modern masters of fashioned and designed as far as dressing people who are serious or not in the world is concerned, is Santa Zo. Santa, welcome to the show. Thank you, Eddie. How are you today? I'm great. <laughs> and how have you been? Ah, well, I will say, uh, you know, cooking, <laughs> gardening, yes. loving my baby girl, and just spending time with my parents. I am blessed to still have them, both okay. of them. Yeah. And so, yeah, just been enjoying home. We're under the lockdown. Wow. <laughs> That's a blessing right there. Santa, you are on the CEO bench today, and I want to just dive straight to our interview. Um, this program brings people like you who are already, you know, riding to the top, already on the top, or, and people who are coming back from the top when they are retiring. But particularly in your case, you are a lady on a move right now. Absolutely. And you have a lot of fire going on right now. Yes. We want to start by first knowing who is Santa. And of course, uh, who is Santa and Zoe in a nutshell? I'm just a very happy individual, yeah. you know, with a very flourishing, beautiful spirit. Okay. That's me. And if I am to look for you when I have not known, which part of this country do you come from? First of all, are you Ugandan? If yes, <laughs> what are the values that remind you? I get that Ugandan, a yes. lot. Yes. I get to places and I'm either Nigerian yes. or African American, yes. <laughs> but I'm actually yeah. very much uh, Ugandan. Yeah. I am from, I am Madi from West Nile. Okay. That's just a few, you know, my parents home is a few. Uh, kilometers from the Sudan, okay. southern Sudan, but I am born in Kampala, yeah. so I am born, bred, groomed, developed wow. in Kampala, Uganda, and actually right here, this is Kanjoja Street. Bukoto Street. Bukoto Street, yes. I was born on Kanjoja Street, <laughs> right behind. Just the right, the street above. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'm in my hood. Okay. <laughs> 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 all right, so we're going to take this moment to welcome all you guys all across the world to the CEO bench. And of course, it's been a wild, it's been a, a moment where we had to go into a lockdown pre prepared, unprepared uh, for it. But it is what it is that coronavirus brought to us. And of course, the CEO bench has been on that uh, small lockdown, but we're back. And uh, Santa, growing up. We want to know from you, did you ever want to, what did you ever want to be in life? Uh, okay, I always wanted to make my daddy very proud okay. in whatever it is that, you know, I was going to do. But, uh, you know, I knew that I was going to be in the creative industries yes. anyway. Yeah. Be it fashion, that made itself out be it singing, because I did a lot of rapping in school. Wow. Uh, <laughs> yes, as a rap star. If, okay. If, if, if there's anyone from uh, Botiki yes. College, College Wairaka yes. College, Jinja, yeah. Jiko, you know, yeah, I did a lot of rapping. Okay. And then um, I have a gold medal in, in art, acting, okay. so in stage. So I did a, a, a bit of acting right before I branched into modeling and modeling then was it for me. So yeah. I always knew that I was going to be in the creative Space. sector. Okay. Yes. Yes, but what inspired my fashion and modeling yeah. journey are uh, two things. My mom always had a machine, ma you know, making dresses, yeah. similar dresses for her girls that would wear on sandals, wow. all floral, all below the knee. <laughs> <laughs> and then yes, yeah. I also was blessed to have my dad bring for us the sound of music, mm -hmm. 
video when we were little and when I watched that I fell in love with Maria, the lead actress, yes. and I, I, I would sing all her beautiful songs and I would do her little, <laughs> you know, round turns yes, yes. and waltz a bit, but I didn't I did not touch the glory of the divine in the singing. I touched it when I was on the catwalk. The first day I did the catwalk, yeah. I captured. Wow. And I knew that that was my call. Wow, yes. wow. So, thanks to Daddy and Mommy, first of all, for the machine being home and making dresses from home. Yes. Uh, I, I, I think we, any African growing child then and now, would very much relate with your story because mothers used to make these things from home for their daughters and it was such a big thing. It was, and it's very important that yeah. we do it yeah. today as well because you see our parents came from an era of the British or the colonial yeah. rule. Yeah. Though, so, you know, schooling was wholesome yeah. and so mommy's teachers were, I believe, Scottish, British yeah. Yeah. and they taught her these things. And for her to be a complete woman, yeah. she had to do her math, pass it, do her English, do all her subjects. But at the same time, they teach, they, they taught them to stitch proper clothing, yeah. hands, and also with machine. Yeah. And then they also taught to cook and bake. Wow. So all those uh, skills that are life skills yeah. that I think that our children today need to be taught. Wow. Yes. Which is something we are not quite doing very well in, in, in this era. But Santa, did you ever see yourself becoming who you are today as a, you know, did you ever see yourself, did you ever, any at one moment? I am privileged to be born of a very successful father. Okay. I saw success from the time I was in Kanjocha Street. I always knew that I was going to be in the lane that I had seen my father in. I saw the cars that he rode in. They were very prestigious government cars. Yes. He worked for the government. He was very successful. Then he joined politics. You know, he's, he's, he's now retired and, you know, he'll be chairman of a university here. He'll be all those things, but he's, a, you know, very instrumental in community. I, I, I wanted that for me. I did not see myself as doing what my mommy did, yes. which are beautiful things that made me who I am. Yeah. But I saw myself more in the line of my daddy. And I always knew that I was going to walk that walk. Okay. And so when I, <laughs> yeah, in a nutshell, <laughs> I, I, I knew yeah. that this was the walk I was yeah. going to walk. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Wow. Well, we are having a, an interview with Santa Anzo, who is the CEO of uh, Uganda International, founder and the CEO of uh, Uganda International Fashion Week. No, founder and president. Founder and president, actually, yes, of Uganda International Fashion Week, as well as the, the founder and the MD and the chief designer of uh, Arapapa by Santa Anzo. I'm sure you've interacted with Arapapa very much wherever you are and to all of you guys from the us to the uk and australia and of course the guys in denmark and sweden well santa zo is here and of course the people here at home and of course guys in nairobi we're gonna have a good ride with santa you know and talking about change management leadership and transformation santa leadership is uh the core value of this tv program that you're on right now and we look at it from a very um, interesting part. One, self-leadership. And uh, first of all, before we get into the self-leadership, we want to know from you, to you, Santanzo, what is your definition of leadership? You know, leadership is uh, guidance. Uh, it can be mentorship. You know, just taking charge of a group or a segment or an industry or a nation, whatever it is, you are in a leadership or you're in a, a position that guides. Yeah. Yes, that guides a vision, a mission, goals. Wow. Yes. And uh, on that note and with that definition on leadership, are you a leader? 
Uh, yes, I've always been a leader. Okay. Uh, uh, and I think that parents need to be keen to see this about their children. My yeah. mommy didn't see it. I think I was just <laughs> a, I was just this problem yes, and yes, gezi yes, gezi yes. happening to her all yes. the time. Yeah. But uh, I in in uh, as as little as you know probably primary. I was always having bull regiments doing things. You know, I would lead them in a game, I would lead them in a play, I would lead them in tapo, I would lead them around William Street where I grew up as a, a little girl, you know. And then I move into school. Primary, I was mostly in a, a girl guide and, uh, um, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, in the drama and dance class. I wasn't a leader there. But in secondary, my leadership skills came to the top. I was always a prefect. Yeah. Uh, uh, my first role was a prefect of furniture, as in charge of the <laughs> inventory uh, yes, yes. in my school. And then after that, I was the women affairs yeah. <laughs> wow. minister. Wow. And then I was also, you know, always vice chairperson of, uh, you know, the social groups in school. Yeah. I was an eagle. My social group was an eagle, yeah. so I was the vice chair there. And, uh, you know, all through. So um, I, and it's not by accident that when I started modeling, there was a vacuum. There was no leadership. There were no of a, a professional management agencies for models at that time. And I had this burning desire to be on stage and, and, and walk it. So I found myself again assembling, putting together all the interested girls and boys who were mostly my age yeah, then, yeah. and get them onto the, you know, onto the catwalk, and then seek out, you know, sponsorships, uh, seek out partnerships with, uh, you know, uh, the hotels, with uh, corporate companies to see to it that our activities would be funded. So, in so doing. Yeah. I was just chasing a dream, but actually I was being a leader. Yeah. And then there's, there's no telling that immediately after fashion, uh, fashion was formed as a career uh, right after modeling. And also there was a vacuum in fashion. And because of the Uganda International Fashion Week and <coughs> the goals and ideals that I was pushing for, yeah. I found myself rising up. Okay. And so guys, like yourselves, <laughs> sir, yes, yes, yes. and uh, everybody else yeah, then would yeah. be calling me yeah. in response, you know, to respond or yeah. to advise yeah. on matters, yeah. fashion, yeah. Mat matters, entrepreneurship, yeah. matters, modeling. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So I am a leader. Wow. Thank you. Let's talk about self-leadership. Your story is quite very fascinating from where you're coming, uh, you know, from. Um, a lot of people don't know where to start from and when to start. And uh, this particular program, the CEO Bench, looks quite very deeply into self-leadership. If you were to define self-leadership, given your story, what would be the definition? And in a scale of 1 to 10, what would you say has been your leadership journey? Self-leadership. I think it's been very uh, progressive. Mm -hmm. It's still a journey for me. I am telling you that I am functioning at 6% as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> I haven't even gotten to my 20% yes, yes, and yes. yet I have to hit 100%. Yes, yes. You know? uh, so um, it's been very progressive. I have a very long way to go. Yeah. I am open to unlearning and learning and I'm doing a lot of that. Uh, but I will say that self-leadership has no definition for as well for as long as you are not self-aware mm -hmm. it starts with getting to know who you really are mm -hmm. there has to be a need or a, a deep need within oneself to identify who they are and the only way one can do that is excuse me for preaching is mm -hmm. but you have to be tagged and in sync with the creator. Yeah. We didn't create ourselves. Yeah. And even as amazing as you may think that I am, yeah. I can assure you that I wouldn't be sitting here if I didn't say prayer this morning. Yeah. And so you need to be tapped 
into your source, who is your creator, that is where you delve deep into your inner man. Yeah. Your inner man is where God lives. Yeah. He tells you who you are. He tells you who you are. He tells you your dreams and aspirations and actually guides you on that path. Yeah. And so for me, it starts with a journey of self-awareness, self-knowledge, accepting yourself, and then getting to know your values. And then trying, much as we fail, we must remain honest to our journey and our values, and then living by them. That is, for me, the beginning and end of self-leadership. Wow. Well, you have gotten the best definition so far for leadership, self-leadership. And of course, in summary, Santa is saying you need to define who you are, you need to find who you have, find self, give self meaning, and continuously put self on the path that leads self to a meaningful journey. But doing that, you must have a spirit in you that continue to guide you to the next step. If you veer off from that spirit or from that path, then there is a possibility that you will not be able to realize who you are and what mm -hmm. value you stand for. Stay right there. We're going for a break. And when we come back, Santa will be taking us through a little bit more about leadership journey as Santa and Zoe from, uh, you know, Uganda International Fashion Week through to Warapapa. And of course, you know, the journey of going to the world. How do you lead yourself? How do you start? How do you move? What do you do? What are the journeys? What are the things, the do's and don'ts? Stay right there. We'll be right back after the break. This is the CEO Bench.